Well, if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get into it. Let's start by spreading the toes. Feeling nice and grounded, slight bend in the knees. Lift the chest, roll the shoulders back and down. Set your posture and just tilt your pelvis under a little bit so you can feel the tummy muscles switch on. And think about your pelvic floor muscle. Very important, especially now. We want to work that pelvic floor muscle until we can't work it anymore. All right, think about your breathing. So just in case you haven't done any of these before, just to focus on the Pilates breath, pop your hands onto your rib cage, and as you breathe in, just fill up your rib cage, take the breath away from the chest, and as you exhale, you want to feel the waist narrow and that pelvic floor muscle pull up. Now you might not be able to feel the pelvic floor muscle straight away, and that's fine, but don't worry, you will. Keep doing it, and keep doing it, keep practicing, and you will eventually get that sensation back, I promise you. Breathing in, and exhale. Work the tummy, sink the tummy. You might feel like you've got a big hole in your stomach at the moment, it's because you have, but <laughs> keep working it, keep breathing deeply into it. Use those deep tummy muscles, because they'll come back as well. Breathing in, and exhale. Just want to keep working until you feel some sort of connection. Breathing in. That might not happen today. It might not happen next week, but it will eventually come back. And exhale. Sink the tummy. Pull it back. Good. Two more. Exhale. Really use the whole breath. Don't be shy. And last one. Good, now we're gonna roll down. So you're gonna breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Drop the chin to the chest. And just let the weight of your head and your neck and your arms carry you all the way down to the bottom. Try and let your fingers touch the floor. Keep your chin tucked into your chest the whole time. Breathe in. And then exhale, think of the tummy lifting you up. So the tummy's the first thing to move. Keep pulling it up. Up, 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 and keep trying to go for that pelvic floor as well. Slide the shoulders down the back, and again, breathing in. Just through the nose, keep the breath down into the ribs, and then exhale. Drop the chin to the chest, and let those arms fall, dragging you down, the weight of your head and your neck dragging you down, all the way down to the bottom, breathe in. Exhale, tummy first. Imagine that your back's up against a wall and you're placing your spine one bone at a time back onto the wall. Slide the shoulders down the back. Head's the last thing to come up and just do one more breathing in. And out through the mouth. Drop the chin to the chest. Uh, all the way down. Good. Breathe in at the bottom. And exhale. Tummy, tummy, tummy. Pull it up. Restep the spine. Slide the shoulders down the back. Okay, and now we're going to move down onto the mat. It's not an excuse for a little cheeky nap. We need to keep working. Okay, so let's find neutral, neutral pelvis. Hip bones, pubic bone on the same line. Imagine you've got a tray of marbles on your tummy. And if you were to roll that tray of marbles forward by tipping your pelvis down, then all the marbles would fall off and roll down onto the floor. If you were to tip your pelvis up, then all the marbles would roll off the tray and down onto your chest. So keep rocking through the pelvis until you find that neutral position, that in between those two points. For some people, you'll have an arch under your back, and some people won't have much of an arch at all. Okay, so when you've got it, spread your toes. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. Keep your knees in nice and narrow, narrower than your ankles. Imagine you've got a little imaginary golf ball between your knees. Set your shoulders, so we're opening up the shoulders and the chest. Take the arms down by the side and press through the triceps, nice and hard. Okay, I just want you to, while we're lying here, just really focus and concentrate on that breath and trying to get a connection with pelvic floor again. Okay, so we're breathing in. 
filling up the lower back and the ribs. And then as you exhale, let the tummy sink. Just hollow the tummy out even more than it already is. Inhale. And exhale. It usually takes about six to eight weeks to actually feel a connection again. So keep persevering because it's worth it. Breathing in. And exhale. Good. Keep sinking that tummy. And imagine, imagine that you've got a straw there. At the end of the straw is a little green pea, and you're trying to hang on to that green pea. Don't let it drop off the end of the straw. Now, if you were doing what your midwife has told you, you'd be practicing this in the bath. You'd be practicing it while you're loading the washing machine, if you have time to be loading the washing machine, or driving the car. Good, breathing in. There's a scary statistic that says that one in three women become incontinent after they've had a baby, so that is a very good reason to work that pelvic floor hard. Two more breaths, exhale. Sink the tummy. Try and get that connection with pelvic floor. Last one. And exhale. Good. Again, don't be afraid to use the whole breath. Really breathe out nice and deeply. Next exhale, we're going to use the tummy muscles to pull the tummy back and press the lower back into the mat. So breathe in to prepare. Still pressing through the triceps and exhale. Roll that pelvis back and up. And inhale, stretch back to neutral. And again, exhale. Make sure you're using tummy and not hips. Pelvis and hips will kick in right at the end. But all the work's coming from the tummy. You've got to work harder now, more than ever, to get those tummy muscles back into shape. Exhale. Hopefully, though, if you've been doing this all the way through, shouldn't be that hard. You should be able to feel the results quite quickly. And exhale, compared to somebody that hasn't been doing the Pilates. That's the beauty of Pilates. Working so much, spending so much time focusing on pelvic floor and tummy, especially for pregnancy. Good, two more. Breathe in, rock back to neutral, and last one. Exhale. Now you might feel that your pelvis is a little more unstable than it used to be, and that's normal as well, and that's fine. That'll all come back when you strengthen up all your muscles. Good, next exhale. Sink the tummy. Press the lower back into the mat. Now press through your feet, because you're gonna peel your spine one bone at a time off the mat. Think energy out through the knees and keep going as high as you can. Get that butt working and the hamstrings. Breathe in at the top. And then exhale. Focus to the tummy and pelvic floor. Keep those knees nice and narrow. And we're gonna put that spine back down onto the mat one bone at a time. Nice and slowly, keep those shoulders back all the way to neutral. And again, breathe in. Exhale. Good, sink the tummy. Press through the feet, peel up one bone at a time, all the way up to the top. Good, lovely, when you get to the top, breathe in. Exhale, deepen that tummy connection, pelvic floor, try and keep the hips up for as long as possible as you then put the rest of the spine back down onto the mat. We'll just do two more, breathing in. Keep pressing through the feet, exhale. Tummy sinks and peel off one bone at a time. All the way up to the top. Good. Go up as high as you can. Breathe in. Through the nose and then exhale. Keep those shoulders rolled back. Keep the hips up for as long as possible. And articulate the spine back down. Fantastic. Last one. Breathe in. Exhale. Now, it is possible if you get desperate and can't find five minutes to yourself to do this with your baby lying on your stomach while it's sleeping. Breathe in. Obviously, I recommend to do it without. 
But if it gets desperate, then you can. All the way down. Excellent. Okay, now we'll do a couple of chest lifts. We'll keep it nice and easy. Breathing in. Exhale, connect with tummy. <sighs> Tighten the waist. Sink the tummy and lift the head and shoulders. Now don't worry about coming up quite so high. Just to start feeling a connection with that tummy again. Breathe in. Exhale, tummy's gonna sink. <sighs> and just gently float the head and shoulders back down to the floor. Let's just do four more, breathing in. Exhale, sink the tummy, lift the head and shoulders, reach for the toes. Make sure you're not using your hips. Keep in neutral, breathe in. Exhale, watch the tummy sink. And then slowly lower back down. Good, three more, breathing in. Exhale. Good, breathe in. And breathe out. Tummy sinking, grab onto pelvic floor. Grab onto anything. Last two, breathe in. Exhale. Don't strain though, whatever you do, breathe in. Exhale. Just take it nice and easy. Last one. Exhale. Good, come up, come up, breathe in. And tummy sinks. And lower back down, fantastic, good. Okay, now we're gonna do some stabilizing for the pelvis work, so breathing in. Exhale, tummy. Float the right leg up to 90 degrees. Breathe in. Exhale, and we're just gonna float the right leg back down to the floor. Breathe in. Now try not to shift through the pelvis as this leg comes up. Exhale. So the hips are glued. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Float back down. Good. And again, breathing in. Staying nice and still through the pelvis. Exhale. Imagine your legs like a piece of glass. Breathe in and hold. Knees directly over the hips. And exhale, sink the tummy. And float the leg back down. Good, it might be a bit wobbly, but that's okay. Breathing in. We're just re-strengthening everything. Exhale. Try and wait until right at the end of your exhale breath before you move the leg. So breathe in. Right at the end. Because by that time, you've got a deeper connection with tummy. And float the leg down. One more each side, breathing in. Keep pressing the triceps into the mat. Exhale. Good, hold it for the inhale. And exhale, float back down. You've still got relaxing flying around your body. So you're still gonna be pretty supple. So you just wanna take it nice and easy. Breathe in. And exhale. Good, now we're just gonna do a couple of hip openers. As you breathe in to prepare, exhale, you're just gonna let the left leg fall out to the side, but without moving the hip. Inhale, bring it back up. And then exhale, we'll take the right leg out to the side. So just let your leg fall open and your foot go out to the side. Inhale, bring it back to the center. Exhale, sink the tummy and just let it fall out to the side and inhale back to the center. Exhale. Now we're working on hip disassociation, but also trying to keep that pelvis completely still. Inhale back in. Exhale. And this is where you need to be careful of the relaxing as well, because you might overstretch. As you come back in, make sure you're using pelvic floor and tummy to pull you back up. Good. Let's do one more. Let it just drop out to the side, nice and controlled. It might look easy, but you have to control it. And then inhale, bring it back in. Good, now we're gonna take the legs up. 
again, so breathing in. And exhale. Float that right leg up. Breathe in. And this time we're going to circle the hip, circle the leg rather. Exhale. Now this is really hard, this really challenges your stability. So you're only circling the knee as wide as the hips and the pelvis doesn't move. So you can just pop your hand on your knee to feel the movement. Oh, and it's really hard to keep that, those hips still. So make those circles nice and small. I can feel my hips clunking all over the place. Just keep that circle nice and small. Crack, crack, clunk, clunk. And then let's go the other way. I have to think about that for a sec. Keep the heel up if you can. We're just doing little circles. God, I'm shaking all over the place. You have to really connect deeply with tummy when you're doing this. So it'll take a while. Don't get disheartened. Let's just do two more and then we're going to do the other leg. There we go. Inhale and exhale, float it back down. It's actually a lot more challenging than it looks. Breathe in and exhale, float the left leg. Okay, and we'll circle inwards to across the body first and then we'll change. Get that circle going. Really have to anchor that hip down. Oh, well done. It's not easy. Little circles, little controlled circles. Just to get the mobility in the hip and to test this stability through the pelvis. I hope mine's staying stable. It doesn't feel very stable. <laughs> I feel my whole leg shaking. Okay, I'm being nice. I could get you to do this with straight legs. Let's go the opposite direction. There we go. Little circles. Just alternate the breath. Breathe in and circle and breathe out and circle. Two more. <sighs> Try and keep those shoulders relaxed. Good, breathe in and exhale. <sighs> Float down. Wow, that was very challenging. Well done. Okay, one hand on top of the other. I'm gonna start getting a bit of action into the obliques, but nice and slowly. So breathing in, shoulders down away from your ears and exhale. <sighs> Lift the head and shoulders up. Breathing in again, and exhale. Reach over to the right, just gently. Think left nipple to right knee. Breathe into the center, and then exhale. If you need to put your neck down if it's too much, then that's fine. Just put your head down, and think of using the arms without the head and neck up. That's absolutely fine. Breathe in. Make sure that tummy's sinking though on every exhale. As you reach. Good, back to the center on the inhale. And then exhale. Lovely. Keep the shoulders down. Keep thinking pelvic floor. Keep your waist and your hips and your pelvis nice and still. Inhale back to the center. And exhale. Inhale center. Good, right nipple to left knee, good. Inhale, center. <sighs> Try and keep your waist on the mat. <sighs> just lifting up, almost just pivoting through your shoulder blades. <sighs> just so you work these side muscles. <sighs> One more each side. <sighs> Inhale, center. Exhale, reach. <sighs> Inhale and exhale to lower back down. Very nice, okay. Now we're just gonna do modified hundreds. So we're gonna work tummy a little bit more, breathing in and exhale. 
suddenly got serious face because this one gets harder. Breathe in. Exhale, tummy. Because you're going to bring the other leg up, so make sure that you're totally still through that pelvis. Good. Try not to shift through the pelvis. Okay, now we're just going to hold it up here for a little while. Knees directly over your hips. If it's straining your back, then just tilt your pelvis up. Or alternatively, just put one foot down. And just hold it with one leg up. Let's just hold it for a couple more breaths. Your knees are hip width apart, so you're not squeezing your knees and heels together. Don't strain your back. Press your, lift your pelvis if you need to, or put a foot down. There's no shame. A couple more breaths. Last one, make sure that tummy's not popping. She says, which looks like your mind's doing. One more breath. Good, and now we're gonna lower the feet back down one at a time. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Lower the leg back down. It's a tough one. Okay. Now, just roll onto your side. Just wanna have a little breather, a little stretch. So think of the fetal position. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> You're just um, cl clasping your fingers behind your head. Elbows are together. And then you're going to take a breath in. And then in the exhale, without moving your hips, you're just going to open up the chest. Ah, oh, that's a great stretch. Especially if you're breastfeeding, because you're probably spending a lot of time leaning forward. So your pecs are going to start to tighten up. So you really want to feel the stretch through the front of the chest. Good. Inhale back. Everything's cracking and crunching. Exhale. Just let your eyes follow your elbow. Make sure that hip doesn't roll forward, though. Good. Last one. Very nice. Just stretch it open. Good. And now we better swap over and do the other side. Okay. Into the fetal position again. Hands behind the head, elbows together. Breathe in. And then exhale. It's a lovely stretch. Just follow your elbow back with your eyes. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Don't forget about tummy and pelvic floor. They're still working. All the time. And exhale. Great. One more. Ah, fantastic. Good. OK. Let's get back to some working on that tummy, do a little roll back. Now, that means you just need to have your feet flat on the floor, your knees are bent, and we're only going to roll back as far as your tummy doesn't pop and your feet don't fly off the floor. Okay, so you take your arms out in front, keep the shoulders back and down, breathe in, and then on the exhale, Slowly, slowly, slowly roll back, roll back, moving the hips away from the thighs. Tummy's got to sink all the way down. Breathe in when you get to that point that the tummy's popping. And then exhale. <sighs> Try and sink it and pull it back as you come up to sitting. Good. Breathing in at the top. Exhale, keep those shoulders rolled back and down. <sighs> roll the hips away from the thighs. Lovely, take a breath in, and then exhale. <sighs> sink the tummy, sink the tummy, sink the tummy. Oh, all the way up. Let's just do three more, breathing in. Exhale. <sighs> it's like you're trying to put your spine back down on the mat one bone at a time, massaging it back down onto the mat, breathe in. Oh, it's a bit too far, exhale. <sighs> 
tummy, tummy. Fantastic, last one. Just keep checking those shoulders, exhale. Good, breathe in. And then exhale to come back up. Brilliant, okay. Now we're gonna roll like a little ball. So, you're gonna bring your heels in towards your butt. Fingertips are literally just tipping the front of your shins, not grabbing on for dear life. Elbows are wide, shoulders are back and down. Pull the tummy away from the thighs. And on the inhale, you need to pick a, you need to pick a point and focus on it ahead of you, otherwise you're gonna fall all over the place. On the inhale, just roll off your balance. Ah, and on the exhale, <sighs> come back up to sitting. Keep squeezing the knees and heels together. Inhale, just roll back. Oh my goodness, exhale, tummy. <sighs> now this will be challenging. Inhale, roll back. Ah, exhale, tummy. <sighs> okay, and we'll do four when we roll all the way back just to bra strap. So inhale, roll back just to your bra strap, and exhale. Come back up. Try and keep those heels into your butt. Oh. Massage your spine as you go down. Last one. Takes a lot of concentration. Okay, that's enough of that. Now we're gonna do some spine stretching work. Now, if you feel like when you're sat on the mat, ideally I need you to have a straight back. If you feel like you're slumping or you can't get up high enough, grab a towel, stick it under your sit bones, and just prop yourself up. Make sure that that back is nice and flat and straight. Okay, so I'll keep the towel underneath me just so you can see the position of the back. Legs are straight. Try and flex your toes, actually. So that's gonna make sure that you're switching on your leg muscles all the time. Thighs are working, pressing the backs of the knees down. Sit up nice and tall. Take your arms out in front of you. Roll the shoulders back and down. Set them in place and they're gonna stay there the whole time. Okay, we're gonna breathe in. Make sure you're sat up as high as you can. Exhale and lean forward. Stop here and breathe in. Exhale. Suck the tummy back, curl the spine, and then restack it. And again, breathing in. Keep that height, keep thinking tall through the crown of the head. Exhale. Lean forward, keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. Breathe in and hold. And then exhale. You should feel a lovely stretch through the spine. Lovely stretch, painful stretch, breathe in. Exhale, lean, 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 lean. Keep squeezing those shoulder blades together, breathe in. Exhale, tummy pulls back, drop the head, curl the back and restack the spine, lovely. Let's do three more, breathing in. Keep those feet flexed, exhale. It's really gonna pull on your hamstrings the more you flex your feet. Hold it for a breath in. Keep those shoulders down, exhale tummy, and restack. Last two, breathing in. Exhale, lean, 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 breathe in, breathe out. Good work, last one. Exhale, your arms might be a bit sore, that's normal. Mine are, oh. okay, arms up and out to the side. We're gonna do the saw. Okay, so we'll keep it quite simple though. Take a breath in and twist to your left. On the exhale, drop your right hand down the outside of your left thigh. Press through both hands to try and lift you up even higher. So you wanna think tall through the crown of the head and you can press your chest forward, pull your shoulders back. Inhale and just raise the arms back up. And then exhale, twist back to the center. 
Let's go again the other side. So inhale, twist to the right, keeping the shoulders down. Exhale, drop the hands down to the floor. Press through the hands and lengthen through the spine. Without changing the body, bring the arms back up on the inhale. And then exhale, think tummy and pelvic floor to twist you around to the center. Okay, let's go three more each side. Inhale, twist. Exhale, up. Press, 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 press. Now, without changing your body or your back, lift the arms and then exhale. Good. And again, inhale, twist. Exhale, hands down. Oh, lift, 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 lift. Arms up. Now, nothing from the waist down should be moving either. Inhale, twist. Exhale, up. Get those shoulders back. Press the chest forward. Arms. Exhale. Inhale to twist. Exhale to drop the hands and press up higher. Arms come up on the inhale. Shoulders are down. Exhale. Okay, we've got one more each side. Hang in there. Inhale, twist. Exhale, up. Arms come up on the inhale, but shoulders are down. Exhale, twist. Inhale to twist again. Exhale. Keep that spine exactly where it is. Fantastic. Okay, legs together. Squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the heels, squeeze the knees. In fact, you can just about squeeze everything that can be squeezed. Arms out to the side. Shoulders back and down, set the shoulders. Take a breath in. And then we're gonna have a double breath. And a twist to the left. Inhale back to the center. Keep those shoulders down. Double breath. To the right. Inhale back to the center. Make sure you're not sagging or collapsing through your spine. So you shouldn't change the height of your body. If you are, then limit your range of movement. Exhale. Nothing from the waist down is moving. Inhale, center. Keep working those tummy muscles. I know they're in there. Inhale, twist. Exhale. Imagine the top part of your body's a plank. Inhale, twist, last one. Oh, relax your shoulders. Very nice. Remove the towel. And now we're going to do a couple of side-lying exercises. So, we're going to go long. You've got, to, you've got to stack your hips on top of each other. And your shoulders have got to be on top of each other. Just slide your hand underneath your waist. And if you can... Try and get a little bit more of a gap between the mat and your waist, or as much of a gap as possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pop your hand down in front of your tummy. Take a breath in to prepare. And then as you exhale, I just want you to lift both legs up. But the trick is, when you lift both legs up, that you don't collapse into your waist, so your waist doesn't change. So think length through the legs rather than height. Now, this is going to be a bit challenging, I'd imagine, for balance. So we're just going to hold it here for a sec. Just pull that shoulder back and down. Now, no claws. Just gently place your fingertips down, she says, rolling all over the place. Keep your legs up. Point your toes. Switch on the thighs. Just keep focusing on a point. Keep those legs up. Breathing. Every exhale, think pelvic floor. Think tummy. Think muscles. Or lack of. Good. Now I'm going to get you to raise that top foot a tiny bit. And on the exhale, just bring it forward. Now this is really going to chuck your balance off. So just be careful. Bring it back in line on the inhale. And the exhale forward a couple of inches. Inhale back, 
exhale forward. Try not to press too hard through that hand. Ah, I'm gonna fall over, inhale, exhale. Exhale. Let's just go two more. Don't let that underneath leg go to sleep. Last one. Good. Now, if you can, I'm going to take this hand off the floor and take it up to the ceiling. If you've just fallen over, then that's fine. Just stick your hand back down in front of you. I'm about to fall over myself. Two more breaths. Keep the shoulder down and relaxed. Last one. Place that hand down. Breathe in. And exhale. Lower the feet back down. Good one. Let's swap over and do the same on the other side. So we're just strengthening up the waist. OK. Check your alignment. Stack yourself, hips, shoulders, shoulders back and down. Pick a point to focus on, breathe in and exhale. <sighs> Lift both legs up without squashing your waist. Good, so think length, really point those toes. It's almost as though you're trying to take your legs off, unhinge them from your hips. And we're just going to hold it here. Focusing tummy and pelvic floor on the exhale. Pick a point and focus on it. You're doing really well. Get cramp in your toes, just wiggle it out. It's fine. Keep the thighs working. Relax the shoulder. Oh, wobble, wobble, wobble. More breaths. Last one. Good. Next exhale, we're going to bring that top leg forward a tiny bit without changing anything, without rocking forward, without rocking back. It's really hard. It's really hard not to try and grab through your fingers as well. Your tummy should be holding you up there. Keep those legs strong. Let's just do five more. Last two. Last one. Bring it back in line. Okay, and we're going to challenge that balance again. So breathe in. And on the exhale, we want to try and take that other arm up to the ceiling. Keep the shoulder relaxed. You can put it down at any time. You feel like your balance is about to go. Keep focusing on a spot. Just hold it there for a couple more breaths. Okay, just place that hand down. Your legs are still up. Take a breath in and relax. Well done. Okay, now we'll just lie on our back. We'll just scoot around this side. Stretch out the glutes. <sighs> One foot over your knee. Oh, bring the knee in close to you. Three or four breaths here. Oh, so you should be feeling it all up here. Good. One more breath. Let's swap over and do the other side.
Oh, it's a good stretch, but it hurts. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Square up the hips. Two more breaths. Last one. Excellent. Now we're going to work that back. So, lying on your tummy. First of all, just pop your arms down by your side with your palms facing up and drop your forehead down onto the mat. Okay, so your shoulders are all slumped forward. Pull the shoulders up and back. Okay, keep the bum relaxed and the legs relaxed. You're going to breathe in and lift your head and chest up as high as you can. Lift your arms off the floor and reach for your toes. Now everybody's gonna be able to get to different heights. I've got quite a tight back, so I'm not very high up. So if you can keep going, keep going. Exhale, lower the head back down to the mat. Don't let the shoulders drop though. Inhale. Oh, keep squeezing those shoulder blades. It's really hurting through the top of the back and the middle of the back. Exhale. Good. Again, really good for pulling those shoulders back and down, especially if you're spending a lot of time bending over, picking up the baby. Pop the head back down. Two more. Inhale. Let the weight of the head and the chest lift your back up. Pull down with your fingers. Exhale, tummy. Don't let those shoulders relax. Last one. Exhale, tummy. Oh, excellent. Well done. Just relax for a second. Okay. Now, let's take the arms, both arms forward, forehead on the mat still. Okay, and at the moment, my shoulders are right up by my ears. Now, I would like you please to pull your shoulders right away from your ears. That means that your arms are gonna slide back down towards you. They may even be slightly bent, but that's okay. Okay, now, on the inhale, you're gonna push yourself up. <sighs> this really hurts across your back. Okay, now on the exhale, you're going to raise your right arm, but keep that shoulder down. So think length, not height. Inhale, put it back down on the mat. Exhale, raise the right, uh, the left arm. Sorry, getting my left and right mixed up. Inhale down. Exhale, keeping those shoulders right down. Don't let them creep up around your ears. Exhale. This is working your whole back, top, middle, and bottom. <sighs> Sounds like a TV show. Mm. Shoulders down, exhale. <sighs> Don't give up on tummy. Don't give up on pelvic floor. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> One more, each side. <sighs> I'm sorry if I'm not making it look easy. <laughs> it hurts too much. Oh, okay, good. I'll sit back and have a stretch. Oh, lovely. <sighs> Might be tingling through your back, but that's fine. It's just the muscles releasing and all the as lactic acid flying around. Excellent. Okay, now I'm just going to swim around the other side. And we're just going to finish on the plank. Now, I'm going to show you two versions. This is the harder version. So we'll do the harder version first. Okay, you tuck your toes under, take a breath in, and on the exhale, you're going to straighten your left leg. 
Keep the shoulders down away from your ears, breathe in. And on the exhale, straighten your right leg. Now, you want to imagine you're in a plank, so you want to drop your pelvis, keep your pelvis nice and low. We just want to hold it here for five breaths. If this is too hard, literally, just drop your knees down to the mat, unfold your toes, and hold it like that. That's still doing exactly the same thing, it's just not quite as taxing. Oh. We're nearly done. Hang in there. Two more breaths. Last one. And just lower yourself down. Excellent. Sit back on your heels again. Just to have another little stretch, another excuse for a break. Fantastic. Breathe into it. Now we're done. I'm just gonna stretch out the hamstrings. And you can get back to your um being a mum. Okay, make sure that this leg is straight. If you've got knee problems, then just keep both legs straight while you do this. As you lean forward, try not to curl the back. Think of a flat back. Think of pressing your chest down towards your knees. Just for the hamstring stretch. Doesn't matter how far down you go. It's not about flexibility. It's about getting a good stretch in the hamstring. A couple of breaths here. One more. Over. So you have to promise me to keep practicing those pelvic floor muscle exercises wherever you are, all the time when you get out of bed, everywhere. Washing up, sterilizing, all those lovely chores that we have to attend to now. All the time, it's really important definitely notice a difference if you do. Traffic lights, hold it until they go green. Excellent. Now let's just roll you up. So squatting down in a little ball, if you feel dizzy when you get to the top, then just stay at the top. Okay. Tuck your chin into your chest, breathe in, and then on the exhale, pop your heels down, keep a soft bend in the knees, keep the chin tucked in, tummy still working, pelvic floor muscles still working, slide the shoulder blades down your back, and your head's the last thing to come up. And we'll just do one more, breathing in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth, drop the chin to the chest, Oh, lovely. All the way down. Breathe in at the bottom. Tummy first. Imagine you're pressing that spine up against an imaginary wall. Slide those shoulder blades down and back. And the head's the last thing to come up. Brilliant. Well done. Hopefully you'll be doing this every day of the week. I'll see you next time. <laughs>